This seems to be the, the topic today uh, and throughout the entire evening. And I appreciate all the loving comments on Twitter tonight. So what happened? What happened? What happened with round number one? I talked about this the last several days. We'd have three opportunities of storms today. There's round number one. That was in East Texas. That was going to be morning into the early. Yeah, let's say from 11 o'clock until about three or four o'clock this afternoon. What happened with round number one? It's this thing that some of you on Twitter have said, Pete, I've heard enough about it. We can't stop talking about it because it's such a huge, just a hugely impactful part of meteorology here in Texas. The cap, that's that warm layer of air aloft. It shut down round number one. We had a little showery activity, but that was really about it. Round number two, those were the supercell thunderstorms that uh, everything indicated that they could produce some baseball and some softball size hail. We're not making this stuff up. It was that dynamic of an atmospheric setup. What was the one fly in the ointment? The one thing that could just throw the whole forecast off with round number two, the supercell thunderstorms. We we're expecting one, maybe two, worst case scenario, maybe three supercell thunderstorms. None of them developed. Why? Right there, we had a very strong cap in place. The dry line was a little bit farther to the west. By the time the cap started to erode, there was just nothing left. So consequently, round number two didn't take place. I talked about round number three. If you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I talked about round number three this morning. Round number three was going to be that mid to late evening round. That's what's happening right now. That's where we have our thunderstorm. So look at this. In Alvord, we did have Kim Mitchum tweeted us this. We did have some golf ball sized hail that fell. Look at this. I love it when I have a nice illustration. There's the old quarter. Yep, I like because I mean, you know, some hailstones just without Without the reference, you just can't tell. But yeah, we had some quarter size hail up in Gainesville, Cook County. Uh, Cassie Westover uh, tweeted me that one. Look at this beautiful supercell in Alvor, kind of backlit with the uh, the light there, the sunset uh, dipping toward the horizon. My thanks to Jennifer Stark. She's always such a big help. That was in Alvor. 